What's up, everybody? I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope you are taking advantage and flexing your creative muscles on this A little bit more with the Get Good Drums GGD Matt Halpern Signature Pack, the P4 pack from their uh, from their new album uh, that they made, and they tracked the uh, drum samples right along with the uh, album, which I, I think is fucking co really cool. Um, and here we have it, right? We have the entire kit at our disposal. So real quick, we are going to go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get our, our tempo. All right. So we're going to turn this guy off real quick and we're going to click into here and go ahead and, um, Ninety nine, it is. Boom. All right. So we're gonna make the tempo ninety nine. I'm gonna turn that guy back on because that's what I want to do. But that's right. How you can tap tempo in Pro Tools, right? So real easy way to get going. And then I've got contact loaded here, and we can go ahead and, and get recording. So let's see what we want to do don't need the browser up so let's just get ready to track okay first thing i noticed for what i'm trying to do this actually needs to be in a three four meter so i'm going to change that there we go. Let's try it again.
So <clears throat> that's definitely what I'm going for. That's the sound I'm going for. That I think that's the tempo I'm going for. I don't think I'm going to continue to um, record at uh, at that. Let's. I'm just gonna try to. I'm gonna try to slow the the. I'm going to try to be behind the note, so to speak. I'm going to try to kind of be bluesy and sort of slow. I don't want to be so tight. So that's, I guess that's my point. I'm going to try to slow it down a little bit. So um, to achieve that, what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's how I'm going to I'm going to try to do it somewhat like that. Just kind of breathe with it a little bit. So, let's get ready to record again. Here we go. I'm going to turn the click down a touch and the volume up a touch. Here we go. Maybe if I turn the track back on, something like that. That's what I'm trying to do. So, um, something pretty close to that. And then, um, you know, maybe we can get in here and record a bass track. Maybe. So, <clears throat> we'll see on a Sunday. Um, but I think so far, so good. That's going to allow me to go ahead and... Um, uh, practice the guitar. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to practice a little 
uh, improvisation using the chords for Little Little Wing, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan style. So I want to, it's kind of a slow, slow version of that, but I want to get, you know, the bass and the guitar chords kind of built into this so that I can kind of practice some triad and improvisations and things like that. So good times, good times, y'all being productive on a Sunday. Let's see how it sounds. I think it sounds killer. Let's treat that as the beginning. Just nudge it just a touch. It's just a little bit forked. Let's see what we got. All right. We'll worry about getting nitpicky later. All right, we need a cymbal crash right at the end of those snare shots. Nope. Here we go.
Okay, it's a little indulgent at the end. I see what I did there. I added some extra kind of like pieces, so it, it doesn't exactly loop uh, very precisely, but that's what I need to try to do is maybe trim this down to a good loop. So let's see where we land. At some point along the way, we started to get really early. Right here. So I have a feeling, I think we can just let this go if we correct some of this real earliness. Or actually. Let's see. No, I think we kind of just need to Yes, do that, and then we'll cut it at 83, right, and see how it loops. Get a feeling it's still going to be slightly off, but we shall see. Yeah, we blew, we blew it out, we blew it out the ass. In some, in some, in some parts, but let's see what we got. Yeah, a little early, it gets a little early right here, so we need to kind of get that married up a little bit tighter, but we got the beginnings of our loop.
which is exactly what we wanted to do on a Sunday. Pretty darn cool. I wonder what a quantized version of this would sound like. Let's just experiment before we sign off for a sec. Let's go to event operations, quantize. Yes. And let's say what to quantize on node on. We want to go by that. We want to random. No, we don't want to randomize. But what we want to do is adjust the strength. Let's say we want to go 50% quantized. How does that sound? We okay, so first off, we fucked that up. Let's try to go on the 32 and let's do it again. Sounds pretty good. Yep. Sounds pretty, pretty good. 50%. Just listening through it. This one might be the keeper. So, quantize strength. I think that's the biggest lesson for today. You can quantize, but still keep that human that human performance some of it you know what i mean so this only quantized it 50 percent closer Nice. So I think even that is pretty close.
Let's just see how this one loops. This one might loop a lot better. Is that right at the end? Ooh, did I drop that right at the end? Bang! Yeah, it still needs that extra little piece shaved off. Whatever, let's just try it. Yeah, I don't know about that. So I still think there's some weird timingness happening, um, which I will have to sort out. But I still think this one loops a lot better than um, this first one. So let's just let's just. Hit the mute button on that one. Just so that I know this one's the keeper. Because this one is the keeper. So, put that up there. And there we have it. That sounds nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I get, I get, I get fast, like, right away. First off, I'm not even starting on the right. I'm not even starting in like a good spot. There we go. I can see relative to the grid. Yeah, so some weird timing things happen. I can go ahead and fix these and probably it'll sound a thousand times better. So we can get that done. Um, it's just going to take some brute force energy uh, on a Sunday. Until next time.